In this next part, we're going to be looking at downloading this work from CodePen using this first page as a template. We're going to create some further HTML pages. I'm going to link that them all together as a single multi-page website. Firstly, I um, wanted to just quickly do a little bit more on the HTML before we download this. Um, and kind of preempt some of the pages that we're going to be linking to, starting to think about the file names that each of our HTML pages will use. To start with, the home page on our website is going to be a HTML file called index.html, and that's a kind of a standard. Um, thing to do and in fact a browser when looking inside a directory will um, open index.html as the first um, page that it sees. Um, but then the other pages that we're going to link to like the about page and the shop page, what are we going to call those and I think we should just call them something very simple and obvious like I'm thinking about about.html the about page and shop.html for the shop page, etc. Um, and if we link those up in this instance, um, those links will be part of our template and it'll kind of make it a little bit easier for us to um, uh, link page to page. So let's go through our HTML and just look at the links that we've got in there so far. Um, we had an anchor tag up the top for our logo. And let's change that to index.html because when we click on the logo, wherever we are in the site, we want to go back to the index page. Um, we've also got a home page in our nav down here. So let's link to the index.html um, for our about. I'm thinking that's going to be a file that we'll link to called about.html. Similar for shop. Down the page there was a button to shop now, so we'll make that go to the shop. And we had a privacy policy page. Okay, super. So all of our links are now in place and we can download. So over here, I might just save that. Over here, bottom right is an export button. I'll click on that and it's going to download this project into a zip file. So it's going to compile our HTML and our CSS and download that in one package. So there we go, we've downloaded it and I'm going to open that up in my finder. I'm using Chrome. Um, let's, let's just get rid of that. All right, and we'll open up that zip. And inside the zip, we can see some stuff, some of which we need, some of which we don't. We need this folder called dist, and that is going to become our website file. Let me just hide this. Website folder or directory. So I'm going to copy that to a place on my hard drive that I can refer back to. Um, I've got this folder set up called web, and this is where I put all my websites in progress. I am going to rename the dist folder to the name of my website. Something like that, no spaces. And let's have a look inside there. Inside the dist folder is the work that we did in CodePen. So if we wrote some HTML, it will convert that to a HTML file. 
and the same with CSS and JavaScript if there's any packaged with the down with the export. Inside the folder, I've pre-prepared this folder of images. I'm calling the folder images, and I've put a couple of future images inside that images folder because from now on we're going to um, be linking to our images that are saved locally on our hard drives. I'm going to pop that images folder inside my site. So now I'm starting to build up a site of files or a directory of files that will become my site and any images that I use from now on I'll put into the images folder um, so I can keep them kind of all organized and together. So let's have a look at um, this site and how we access this code. Um, and of course we're going to use Visual Code Studio to, um, to edit, save and do the compilation of this site. So let's open Visual Code Studio. Here it is. And just gonna arrange my screen so that um, Visual Code Studio is taking up around about half of it. I can see my files over here. First thing I'm going to do in Visual Code Studio is go to File and then open a folder. And I'm going to navigate to my Burger Site folder. Um, and I've got that in my web folder. And there's my Burger Site folder. Yours might be in a different spot. And I'm going to open that up. And once I do that, I can see over in the Explorer panel, I've got my site here and all of the associated images. I can even flick down and look at the images inside the images folder. And if I click on a file, um, it'll open that code in the code editor over to the right here. Let's have a look at the index. I'm just going to give ourselves a little bit more space. And maybe just while we're looking at that, expand that out a bit. So here's our HTML. Now it does look a little bit different. To start with, it's been formatted, which is good. So it's nice and neat. And I can see how the divs or the, um, the elements that I've written kind of are all sort of matched up and I can see their opening and closing um, tags, which is really good. Um, but I can also see some extra stuff and Copen has added in the HTML um, page structure elements that we don't kind of look at when we're in um, Codepen. To start with the body tag, um, we were styling the body but we never wrote the body tag in in Codepen um, or mostly didn't. And also the doc type up the top here. So it's a HTML5 doc type and a HTML tag that says we're writing in English and then a head tag with the metadata for our, um, for our page inside there. And importantly, we've got um, this link tag, it's a link element, which is linking to our style sheet. So this link here actually references the style CSS here and applies the style, applies the CSS to this HTML, which is in the body. Also got a title there. So um, if I change the title, this is what is going to appear at the top of the, um, the browser window, like the title of the browser window. And we might just, we'll go ahead, I've made a change there. So I'll need to save this file and then we'll preview this file. So I'm going to go ahead and save all. And that's going to save all of the code files that I'm currently working on. So let's just move that over a little bit. And I want to open up um, a browser window and I'm using Chrome. And I'm just going to see if I can squeeze this in 
it's going to be very tight. Much better if you've got a bit more real estate. Um, but in um, in your browser, you want to go and file and actually open that file that we're working in in CodePen. Uh, sorry, in Visual Code Studio. So I'm going to go to the web folder and open that index file. And you can see there's our page and it looks good um, on its own without all of the code pen furniture around it. Just quickly, let's just have a quick look at that. Kind of operates as expected, looks good. Um, now, so this is what we have to do. We have to brow, uh, view our work in a browser like so, and we have to make edits and write code in Visual Code Studio and sort of toggle between those two workspaces. So if I want to make a change, toggle over to Visual Code Studio, I'll have to remember to go ahead and save, save all, and then go over to um, my browser and refresh and those changes um, will take effect or will be rendered. So the first change that I made was to change our title to the title of our website and you can see that that title appears in the tab at the top of my browser window. So that's all good. What we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this first index page and use it as a template. So let's go over to our website um, folder here and I'll go right into that. And we're going to use index as a template, so right click on it, duplicate that file, rename it to one of the new pages that we're going to have in our website. Um, and we were thinking about a page that was called about.html. Oops, I need to add that twice. All right, so now we've got two HTML files in there content of which is going to be exactly the same, but you can see in my Explorer in Visual Code Studio, I've got those two files now. So let's flick over to the About and let's make a change. So on the, in the content, so I'll put this little um, comment here to remind us sort of where the comment, uh, the, the main content for the page is. And that's right here. So I'm going to put a new heading. Um, it's going to be about. Oops. All right, and I'm going to save that. Save all. So now our two files have been saved. And I'm going to go over to my browser here and refresh. Nothing will happen because I'm actually looking at the index page so far, but now if I go ahead and click on the about link, you can see here that it's referencing the about.html. We should open up that new HTML file. And you can see here that it's actually on the about HTML page, which is good. Um, and we can link back to the index page. Click between those two. Excellent we've pretty much got a site, but let's make a few more significant changes. I want to change the text and images inside our about page. So just click over to the about page and in the about HTML, I'm going to change the image here. So let's start by adding in an image tag. And you can see that Visual Code Studio does some of the same kind of code hinting. And when um, the URL that I want to put into this uh, image tag, um, unlike previously how we were linking to an image that was already on the internet, we're going to link to an image that is just in a folder next to our HTML file. So we're going to locate that images folder and you can see that CodePen 
can see that images folder. If I click on the images folder, I can get access to the different images that I've got um, in that place, in that directory. So I'm going to click burger1.jpg. Just remember when you're naming image files that you don't have any spaces in your file names. All right, um, I might go and get uh, some new text as well. I'm just going over to grab some dummy text from um, somewhere or other from lauraipsum.com. Copy that into my clipboard and I'm going to pop that in between these paragraph tags. All right, now if I save all and then go back to my browser and refresh that, we've got completely new content on that page. Don't need the shop now button, let's get rid of that. I could keep it, but I just want to make this page different. So let's remove that line of code, save all and refresh again. And you can see that that image is gone. Great, so we've got these two pages that are linked together with different content on them. Pretty much a website ready to go. Um, all right, we've got a shop page and a privacy page that uh, we want to implement. Let's make a few more pages. I'll just flick over to um, my finder and I'm going to duplicate the about page. And this can be our privacy policy page and I called that privacy. So down the bottom here, we had a link to the privacy page and now I can open up the privacy HTML file into my code window and I can make some changes. So all I'm going to do is just have no images on this page. We'll give it a new some new text in there for the hell of it. All right, now I can save all. If I just want to save one file, I can right click on it and go ahead and, well, I thought I could. Maybe not, I'm just, <laughs> oops, gonna go save all, just save all those files. And then go back over to our browser, refresh. And if we click on the privacy policy page, we'll link over to that page. So that's great, we've got three pages now. Our about page and our home page. And we'll finish off with one uh, one more. Oops. We'll duplicate the privacy policy. It doesn't matter which one we duplicate. They all can be our template. I'm going to call that our shop. We'll edit the shop. Change the heading on the page. And for content, we'll put an image in here, I reckon. So just won't have any paragraph there. And we'll just again add in an image tag with a source. And close that off. And inside the source, we'll look for the images folder. And then we'll go with burger2. And we'll save all. Back over to our page here. We'll refresh. And then we'll be able to navigate around all of our pages. So from the home page, 
we can now link to the about index for, um, HTML file. The different content there. We can go over to our privacy page. You can see it's loading up the, um, the privacy HTML page. You can see that our URL address is actually a directory, a string to a directory actually on our on our home on our um, hard drive. And then finally, we'll go over to our shop. Oops, typo there. Going to need to fix that up. Let's head back over to. And refresh, and we've updated that. All right, so finally, we'll just have had a look through our, our site, but let's have a look at our um, final set of files. We've ended up with a, a folder here, which is the name of our website. And then inside that, we've got a series of HTML files that all link to one single style.css so that's really what we're hoping for is this nice contained set of files with some linked um, assets and all styled by the one style CSS and I might just quickly go back to our HTML and just look at where that style link is referenced it's in the head tag using a link element and then there is this reference to our style sheet. And each one of our pages is going to have that reference at the top there. So they're all looking at the same CSS. And if I wanted to make styles, style changes across my whole website, um, I can do that in that one place. For example, um, let's go over to our style. And if I wanted to make our um, heading a different color, for instance, we'll go with red for our um, H1s and we'll change the size of those to I don't know, something bigger and we'll save that. I'm just going to quickly bring up our page. Here it is. You can see um, that change ha has taken place, but not only on the um, index page, but on every single page. So you can see our um, whole site is updated, and that's really handy if we've got lots and lots and lots of sites. Let's just do that once again, just to really point out how that works. We'll make our paragraphs much bigger. You can see that change, obviously not a change that I'd really want to make, but um, and that is, is occurring on every single page globally across the site. Okay, we'll wrap it up there. So um, we've, uh, we've looked at just preparing our um, code pen um, for download. We've downloaded it and we've started compiling um, our website in Visual Code Studio um, using that first page as a kind of a template. Now we've ended up with a finished sort of multi-page collection of files that we could publish online.